Hey guys. Oh shit. If you can't hear me, let me know. Because whoo, I have no idea. I'm in my um I'm in my sunroom. But uh I'm not down in my office right now. My He's office nervous. is uh, I'm doing some redecorating down there. There's no way not to be nervous. The, right um, like people so mistake guys- like things I say because they're retarded. Let's just get it out there. Uh, oh, this stream becomes supporters only in one minute, actually 51 seconds. Um, people mistake things that I say because they're retarded. Uh, they well, or they want it to mean something different. Um, I uh, said I was working on uh, my new studio or whatever. And um, what I meant was the new design of my studio. The mic is way too hot. My bad. That should help. I think that should help. What I meant was the They're going to steal it anyway. Of my new studio. Or not my new studio. My old studio was changing. My right? cat's scratching at the door. So uh, I was, I'm redoing stuff. One of the things... Someone got through major withdrawals. There you go. <laughs> uh, the main thing that I am doing as part of all of this uh, hubbub is I kind of have to remove... I don't have to. I shouldn't say that. It's not the appropriate thing. I'm uh, removing as like a major theme of the show alcohol, at least for the, at least for the known future. Hmm. You say the mic is clipping very hot. It is hot. Yeah. But it's not showing me that on my, th- it's, it's actually showing it's not doing that at all. I mean, Alyssa clips is going to take Let me anyway. see. We'll get this thing set up. Yeah, I can see. The, I can see the volume. It is a little high. It's do, it's Hold doable on. though. Like it's not like on. It's a little. What got me? Yeah, I think he looks better too. Oh, we'll bring it down a bit. Other? We'll bring it down a bit. That should be better. I'm not used to broadcasting with this mic in this room. Going. It's probably uh, the acoustics. Yeah. In the way it is. So. You working said Mo- on Miley Cyrus. That. All right. So here we go. Smoke if you don't. Um, I'm removing most of the alcohol references from the show. I won't be drinking on the show, at least for quite a while. Um, just because. Like, I guess it was maybe. Come on. Maybe I drank too much on a show. I don't know if you guys know that sometimes I drink too much on a show. So that being said, uh, as part of that, I'm taking down, I really hate doing this specifically. I took down the, uh, the anniversary gift that Lady Raggett's got me. The anniversary gift that Lady Raggett's got me was the, um, the liquor bottle painting that was behind me. And um, I'm removing it from the background of the show, again, at least temporarily. And um, they can't see you. Instead, I'm putting up my Joker painting behind me because. That makes sense. <laughs> no, you can't sit there. Sit down here. Right? Yeah? That's. uh. Don't jump up here. I think you guys will like the Joker painting I have. I really do. It's a great painting. And um, I don't know. Mm. Thank you, VTuber, man. Look, and he just totally disregards me. Sometimes you can be a fan of the world around you. You guys will see it. It'll be up. Uh, One of the other major changes I'm doing is I will be standing for the show, even down in my office. We're going to switch to a standing show uh, rather than sitting down. I think um, that's a big part of, uh, of doing the show and keeping my energy level up. Yeah, that makes sense, uh, though. Keeping the show length actually at a reasonable pace. Rather than going to like six, seven hours of shows or whatever, like I have done, I know I haven't done a lot of those recently, but um, by standing up, you know, it keeps me active and moving. It keeps me in my sort of uh, natural talking element. I don't like talking sitting down. I do it on the show. I think he's doing really well. Or did it on the show because I had to. So I'll be doing standing streams. 
I have to work out a little bit of how I'm going to be manipulating like uh, what the fuck is on he the stream good that too. you guys see and stuff like that. He Working on all that, more getting too, that the stream done. Goes along. Like I said so earlier, now, I really, really wanted to like actually pop in and say, hey guys, how's it going? Uh, because a lot's happened in the past couple weeks. And as I'm sure you can be very sensitive about, like, I can't talk about a lot of it. There will come a day, I suppose, when things can be talked about. Uh, but for now, I have an ongoing criminal case. If you're not so caught up. Don't you dare. If you hit that roadcaster. If you're don't not caught up, it. I have an ongoing criminal case in the state of Minnesota. And, uh, you know, until that is resolved, if you swipe at that, I have to be a little bit circumspect about what I say it? about it. Um, obviously, uh, there are a lot of really well-meaning people out there who have a bunch of great advice uh, for that case. And I, I mean that I'm saying it a little bit sarcastically, but there are a lot of people who really do mean well, who've, uh, who've said a lot. And it's you find out very quickly Smoke. who is um who has no idea like how criminal trials run uh, or criminal cases I should say and uh they're even many of them are lawyers uh <laughs> some of them have trouble like keeping both eyes in the forward <laughs> direction like and looking towards the future uh some of them just always keep one eye on the grift uh, and uh, they limp along in this weird sort of manner, trying to pretend that they have any fucking idea what's going on. Uh, they don't. They know so little that it's embarrassing. Uh, but, you know, that's, that's fine, because they can pretend to be a lot of things. Like good with women, for example. Mm. But that being said, Ocean, are you we'll just move I'll along past that, in a bit. I, uh, and we'll just cut we'll bit. just go ahead <laughs> and uh, not worry about it. Uh, some very well-meaning friends have reached out to me and have sent me lots of uh, you know love and support and all of that stuff. You know, the problem is um, they want things like they're moving at the pace of Internet. Press one if you're they're Team Ricada, the, press uh, two if you're anti Ricada. Pace of Internet. They want things done like now. And like, guys, it's um, it's a criminal case in fucking Bumpkinville, Minnesota. Uh, the prosecutor still has to, like, learn how to type. It's going to take a while. Threes are allowed to. Yeah. That's a joke. She knows how to type. I've worked with her before. She's very nice. Um, but no, so the, like literally legitimately people are like, you got to get this thing done and done and done. It's like, guys, it doesn't go that fast. It doesn't go that fast out here. It it's might be in other jurisdictions or whatever out here. It doesn't. Then some threes and, uh, for really, don't have a team. there's a whole bunch of considerations that go into a case, um, that affect the timeline. And I'm not in control of pretty much any of them. Uh, if you've never been charged with a felony, I have been. Let me just enlighten you. <laughs> the state tells you what will happen when. Yeah, they do. And that's about it. So that, because, that being said, uh, again, I'm not going to sit and talk about the case. Uh, you know I can't do that. I just want to give a shout out to many very good friends who have been out there supporting me, uh, offering wonderful advice, both in a personal and professional manner. Uh, everybody I have met uh, who's reached out privately has been relatively well-meaning, even even the ones who have a whole lot of the situation wrong and the story wrong, and they have um, you know they have advice that's not really useful, even though it's well-meaning, and that's what people need to understand about uh, anybody in a, a sort of tumultuous situation, or you could call it crisis or trauma or whatever, is. Um, you should always, if you're the person who's not in that situation, you're talking to someone who is. Uh, you should always remember that if your advice I'm isn't taken or heeded, it's not necessarily Three because the boy. advice is bad, them kids. but the advice may not be appropriate for the situation based on something you do or don't know. 
Uh, and I, I'll give some special shout outs out there to people who've been really, really good uh, friends and companions through this behind the scenes. Uh, good logic obviously has been a great friend. Um, and uh, his first concerns, how are you doing? Like, how are you? How are you, my friend? And uh, he is, he's really been great. Megan Fox has always been concerned uh, about how I'm doing, how my family's doing. Um, and, and that's been really, really uh, great to see as well. Um, some of the others, I'm, I'm not going to mention some people because their, uh, you know, their discussions with me have been anonymous and confidential and they can stay that way. But uh, I will throw a special shout out to DUI guy um, who I am, I've been talking to as well. And uh, he's made a very, very generous uh, sort of I haven't talked offer to him much. towards me. Whether or not I uh, take him up on that offer it remains to be seen. Um, but he's been nothing short of uh, very, very fucking supportive and really, really uh, earnest and genuine in that support. So um, obviously there's a ton of my other friends who are out there. Uh, they know who they are. I'm not going to put everybody on blast. Uh, those three have been relentless. Oh, and I guess I would be remiss if I didn't say Ryan, the editor, Ryan, the editor, like who's like the channel credited to himself automatically with not being fired. So goddamn much, uh, guys, if you don't know this, I'll only do this once. I'll only do this once, but Ryan, the editor is one of the truly genuinely, uh, most stand-up people that uh, that I've met in a long time. He's a great dude. I wasn't uh, ceiling catting. Always, That's my air conditioner Always up there. primarily concerned with um, you know how the people in his life are doing, uh, even to the detriment of himself, which he shouldn't do because he deserves to be uh, he deserves to be oh, like taken care me. of in, in his own way. And hopefully, a nice boy will do that for him sure when he grows older. On. But um, he's uh, he's a genuinely great great dude. Uh, and, and he's been, um, you know, he's been checking on me quite a bit, so I won't fire him for a little bit. Yes, there are others. There are others. Uh, made and iron is pointing them out and other people are pointing them out. Viva and Barnes have been, uh, very steadfast stand-up guys. Barnes's indignation, uh, about the circumstances of the search warrant are really interesting. Um, you know, there's, I, I can't talk about arguments, uh, or legal strategy, uh, that I am taking or considering or Whoa. whatever, but Barnes has some really interesting observations, and I think people can uh, can go watch. So, like, look, I encourage you to watch whoever's analysis of whatever. There's some good analyses out there. There's some bad analyses out there, as always. Good. Ralph, Mandel. I have watched basically zero of them. Um, I've gotten summaries. I've seen clips and stuff like that. I don't have time. Uh, One thousand to do it right stream. now. It's um, it's crazy. Most of my free time right now is responding in some way to some messages from someone, no, and um, I someone's yeah. always like, uh, it, it's it's weird because you want to like just queue up messages and be like, okay, I'll get this one, then this one, this one, and get them in order. But it doesn't work that way. Legal what ends up happening is I suddenly set. have uh, you know, a little bit of time to go ahead and and tackle some social media communications. And what I find is I'm responding to the most recent one that has hit me at that time. Uh, and, and that's the best way. Uh, the support and the concern has been pretty overwhelming, which is great. I also have to say, obviously, Camelot, uh, my boy, is out there. Um, guys, check out Camelot's racing shit. It's really, really fucking exciting how well that's going on. Um, Kurt, uh, Kurt, I see him in the chat. He's been awesome. Um, you know, really just... A bunch of people have been great. I'm, I'm sorry if I miss someone. Uh, the people I talk to personally know who they are. So. I'm not going to sit here and uh, jerk everybody off, though. <laughs> <laughs> I do see Camelot in the chat as well. What Camelot should be doing is racing. Do you guys know that Camelot is now a racist? He is a he is a racer and a racist. He's a probably oh shit! I, lead attorney, obviously. Always forgetting the black guy. Lead attorney has been uh, has been wonderful. And again, I I haven't watched everybody's shows, 
And some people like will send me a clip or something or like say, Hey, so-and-so said something about you. And uh, some people like, uh, it sounds like they're concerned that someone might've said something negative at some stream somewhere. And guys, it's always been this way. People are allowed to have different opinions about me. They're allowed to make up their minds on uh, whatever the, uh, I don't want to say the evidence that's getting a little fucking official here. Whatever the story that people know is they're going to make decisions and judgments and assessments based well, on the, the story, story that they hear. Right. Different things come out that too as well. Should be obvious. Like it evolves. I will say this. Uh, I said it before. People completely misinterpreted this one as well. The story is something that is not what's being said. How far off in what areas will differ all over the place? And this is this is going well beyond legal. Uh, there's, I don't know, like I was, uh, I was like kind of like trending all over the place. I saw law and crime, uh, law and crime covered by yeah, a search warrant. I cannot wait to go through the fucking law and Didn't crime coverage of my search warrant. Like I can, mm, mm, God is gonna, cause like. Of course they did. I don't begrudge them for doing it. To, I would have done uh, it twice. Like if yeah. Dan Abrams ever gets, uh, yeah, if that fucking too. dude ever gets like, I don't know what he'd be charged with or whatever, I will make fun of him all day. So I would expect them to do the same, but I now want to go on pin that whoever's pinning stuff go on back my and chop up their analysis because it's going to be fun. Unmodded. Um, a lot of people have said a lot of really shitty things about me and, uh, and particularly me and Lady Rackets, and I will I will say this one time um, again: uh, the story and reality diverge in places. But I'll say this uh, this way: okay. um, I'm about to people can right. only make value judgments and assessments based on what they have seen and heard, and uh, what they have seen and heard now will be their value judgment and assessment. And at some point, I'll either get the opportunity to correct that for someone or I won't. And that's life. Especially that's life in uh, any sort of media. You get the opportunity to speak and people may not always take the opportunity to listen. And if that's what people decide to do and they've made their judgments, then I can't begrudge them for that. Uh, of course, you know, when things are said about you, no, that's fine. when I'm allegations or on. inaccuracies crap up you want to run out and address them you want to immediately immediately uh put up the counter narrative you want to say this is wrong this is wrong this is a lie this is bullshit they know it blah 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 blah. and when you're charged criminally you can't really do that you just you just can't so uh some of that is gonna just have to wait a long time or maybe a short time we'll find out but uh that being said, it's just, it's just how it goes. And I don't begrudge anyone their bad judgments, uh, except for people who actually know better. Um, you know, there are people out there who know uh, more of the story. And this is always true in every circumstance, but it's also true in this one. There are people out there who know more of the story than, uh, than they are letting on, and uh, they are dishonestly speaking about it. And some people, um, okay. you know, go ahead and for whatever reason, take up a position, uh, we'll say opposed <laughs> to someone <laughs> for a purpose that doesn't make sense in the long or short run to me. But, and I know I have to speak cryptically about this because I'm not, I'm not here to throw people under the bus. I'm not here to like point any, any guns or anything. Oh God. No, those are gone. No, I'm not here to point anything at anybody. Um, but there are people out there who know things that they're saying are untrue. Okay. I'm about to just unmod a ton of people. And there are people who, out there who know shit about my character and are saying things about my character that aren't true. And the worst Ocean, is of that the you worst, that? in my opinion, are the ones who not only know things and know about my character, but they also know their own character. And me thinks 
some of them doth protest too much. And methinks maybe some of them have uh, adopted a position for personal gain, and they'll do that. Like, that's fine. Again, I'm not going to call anybody out. I don't need anybody to do anything uh, or to, I don't need anybody to even stop watching or stop listening to anybody, and that's not the point. It's just, it's, uh, I'm, I'm sharing with you guys my experiences going through this because this is kind of like a completely, this is foreign territory, man. I'm coming after one person and it's so gay. Oh, no, no, no. Believe me, I'm not coming after anybody. I made fun of legal mindset because he's a retard, but that's <laughs> his own problem. Uh, I'm not even talking about him in this scenario at all. No, I know. I literally just made fun of him because he's retarded. He acts like this super Chad ladies man as he looks off to the boys room with one eye, the girls room with one eye and limps between them because he can't decide which one to go to. I'll make fun of him because he's dumb. That being said, I'm not going after anybody else right now specifically because I don't need it. And you should still watch him, by the way. Like, no one should stop watching Legal Mindset because I made no. fun of him. Hit uh, like, we're all allowed to make fun of each other, right? Like, that's okay. I thought. Is that not okay? But, uh, but yeah, the, there are people who are genuinely... Um, what the fuck? He's purposely not showing the brand of energy drink. I, I just realized I may have had another mic picking up something, so I didn't. I have two mics in the room because uh, it's also a karaoke setup. But uh, yeah, there. <laughs> My cat wants out. There are other people out there who fit the criteria that I was talking about much better than him. Um, they'll know who they are, and and I'm not here to burn or torch anybody. I really don't fucking care. People have to make their judgments based on what they know. Some people are making performative judgments based on the opposite of what they know, and that's okay. He was discussing. Cheers to them. You learn a lot. You learn a lot at various times doing this job, which is the gayest shit I've ever heard or said. <laughs> that's not the gayest shit I've ever said. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. It is June. Um, but you learn, learn a lot it. in this sort of... Uh, world of fucking social media and uh and talking and networking with people about who actually yeah. is actual you learn a lot um, and you learn it at different times uh sure. triumphs you learn a little bit crises you learn a lot that's when you learn the most actually and all you can do is keep going because you can never know ahead of time you can try and judge people's character. You can try and take advice from other people, of course. But you can never actually know in enough time to really uh, make a value assessment of someone before you invest in them. I, oh, God, what a gross word that is. But, like, uh, you know, as, as people uh, become part of your network and you, you talk to them more and uh, cross-promote and all that shit, you can't always know how things are going to turn out. and you can't worry about it either. So I'm mad at Drexel? No, I'm not mad at Drexel at all. Why would I be mad at Drex? Barnes says the search warrant is a total crock. Look, again, uh, I'm not going to comment on any of that stuff. I can't right now. Press one for at Team some Rikana, point, if I comment about the search warrant, it'll be neutral. done in the filing. If... That's an if, by the way, the state, they're just waiting. They're just waiting. The state is like, oh, God, can he please say something? I hope they put all my gay jokes in a filing or whatever. But uh, no, it's, um, if I'm going to say anything about the case, you'll find out about it in a filing, probably through my attorney. Uh, oh, it's. Everybody's like, don't represent yourself. Like, I know. Like, yeah. don't, you said you're going to represent yourself. I, no. I said at the arraignment, which by the way, uh, I said at the arraignment that I was representing myself for this arraignment because it's just an arraignment. Yeah. Um, I knew the score. I actually knew pretty much exactly what my bail was going to be based on other bail set and possession cases in this county, especially ones that involve guns. Like, I... If you had to, if I had to guess what bail would be, 
I would have guessed probably, I would have guessed 60 to $75,000 because I'm a pessimist. Uh, they said it at 50. I still think that's too high. I still think $50,000 uh, to show that you're like not, you know, that you're actually not even show to enjoy the not being guilty part of not guilty yeah, until proven. So, actually, right. Like yeah. I do think that $50,000 is a little onerous, but the way bonding works, it doesn't end up being that much. Um, we won't get into it too much, too much about that. The, those of you who know how bonding works will know. We can talk about it some other time. It's not, it's not where we're here. I do. Off topics. What are your thoughts on Trump's guilty verdict? Uh, I knew he would be found guilty. Do I think he'll get prison time? No. I'm going to say, about Biden shitting himself in France today? Look, if I was in France, I'd be shitting myself too. Because the last time I was in France, it was different. Um, <laughs> well, where's the dog? Is Sunny, our dog, she's in the bathroom. At night, Sunny hangs out in our bathroom. Yeah, that was a weird one. People are like, the dog was taken or something. Like, ATF didn't raid the house. The dog's alive. I mean, if ATF came... <laughs> like okay yeah uh no but atf didn't come it was just a local sheriff so they didn't shoot the tiny pug she's still alive um show us the dog i can go get her in a minute i'm happy to when did i get a dog oh when god cursed me uh <laughs> But uh, no, yeah, they, there's so many, there's so many fucking wild stories out there. Uh, I've seen only a fraction of them. Like, obviously, I, I can't follow all the stuff about me. I don't know how other people do. Um, and I find out stuff from the internet. I'm like, oh, man, that's cool. Or that's not cool. Like, sometimes, like, oh, my dog's dead. Shit. <laughs> but no, she's very much alive. I found out that she was dead. And then I also found out that she was alive when I just was like, hey, Sonny. And she started yapping. Uh, ceiling cats. Well, you know, they're floor cats here because I'm actually over my, my office is the right below me. So they're floor cats here. They kind of up and down through the floor or whatever. Please comment on the status of Sonichu medallion. Uh, it's still here. It's still here. But, um, but yeah, <laughs> it's, uh, it's kind of wild what you like, again, what you find out about yourself very quickly from, partial stories. And, uh, I've been learning a lot about myself. Um, in some ways I like what I'm learning. And in other ways, I'm like, I don't like that at all. But one thing I do like, and, and this is something that'll be fun. I, I can't do it now. This is what I hate. Like the things that they want to take away from you. It's not, and the government isn't actually taking it away from you, but people get very overly cautious and that's the right move. Don't get me wrong. You're very overly cautious about stuff. And they take away like levity. So like they're a bunch of just banger memes. They're a bunch of just fucking banger memes out there. And uh, I want to like share them and laugh at them because they're funny. Like funny things are still funny. But when this stuff happens to people, everybody's like, no. You got to watch out. The joke police are coming. <sighs> The joke police are coming. And if you tell a joke or you smile or you, if you even like, if you mm, don't, don't smile in public. Like if you're out in public, people will be like, this motherfucker. Like, well, what are you supposed to do with every part of your day? Like you can't laugh at a joke. You can't enjoy a show or a movie. Like you can't do anything because uh, someone's like, they should be doing something else. Like, well, okay. Calm your tits there, chief. Is that right? Fuck. I think I got to say it like pro pride month. Calm your tits there, bro. Uh, people will have momentary emotions and I get to go through the full gambit. Of oh, them by the way, Medicare, I hope you die soon. I know you're today. watching this channel because there's nowhere else for uh, you, you to see it, faggot. That. Did I go to church this weekend? Yes. Yeah, I go to church pretty often. <laughs> uh, you know, it's uh, that's part of the old routine. Um, but yeah. Oh, people, I don't know. People are really concerned about my health. Uh, it's amazing what happens when you're not sick and you can eat, but, um, I have been putting the weight back on and I'm right around my target weight. It's great, which is really cool. 
Uh, I and I I am going to try and get to the all the tips that are there. I really appreciate them. I I don't really have a friendly setup for grabbing all of them right now. The same church, no. Um, and that's actually has nothing to do with anything other than uh, in the summertime we tend to go to this other church. Just scheduling and shit. Lollicon like loving Medicare. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Your whore Pippa's taking the week off. Just don't drink insure. Oh God. Why would I do that? Show us the fucking dog. Nobody believes you. Oh, now I won't. No, I won't. Anyway. Yeah. So it's, uh, <laughs> someone says not sick. Yeah, that's it. No, seriously. Like it's, it's funny to me. Like this is one of those moments of levity that I can go ahead and share a little bit with you is, is like, Events converge that are unrelated and people are like, see, and it's like, no, actually I really did get sick for 20 days out of about a somewhere between a 40 and 60 day period. There were two 10 day periods where I couldn't fucking eat. I could barely get out of bed and I ran a fever most days between 101, 102 and 104. And there was one time, this is a true story, by the way, people are like, oh, he's like, there's no reason for me to lie about this. It was, it was goofy. I think it was actually just a result of how we do the, uh, uh, you know, they have the, the type of thermometer that you use, but I did First have one a 107 too, reading on a thermometer one day. And I think it was because I was bundled up in fucking bed while I had a fever and I was probably just sitting there overheating on the surface. I don't think I was actually dying with my brain cooking, but once I got cooled down, my fever, there was 104 like that. That's true. But people are like, see, this happened. That's what, that's what the weight loss was. Like, no, I literally couldn't eat. I'm sorry. I wanted to. I wanted to. But, um, but yeah, it's, um, it's, it's, again, the, the way the internet works. And you can't like blame people for it. Again, they only have the parts of the story that they have. And even if like I can tell you whatever part of any story and you You'd never know I was being honest or not. Like you never know anybody is. You just have to make your judgments based on based on character of the person you know. Uh, you guys will do that to me, and uh, that's that's that. Like that's that's how it's always been. So there's uh, it's always trust me, bro, and you have to decide yes or no, and you have to do that forever for everyone. Start an eating substream, Griff the food stuff. God, I need to. I still have my 4,000 calorie ramen that someone sent me. I gotta cook that fucker. That's what I need to do. Uh, need to do that and just say, like, you're not going, you're not getting done with the stream until you eat it all because it's absolutely do not eat alone. But, um, yeah, gentleman sausage says, I've seen people get false highs on a forehead thermometer after sunburn. I didn't see the rest of your comment, but yeah. I assume that my 107 was a little inflated, but the uh, the in ear thermometer on that one was still 104. It was fucking gross. But um, you know, that's that's that. Movie watch streams and game streams again. God, oh fuck me. Movie night tomorrow. Right before Street, this the shit way, happened. If we hit the goal for the 55th straight show in a row. I don't know if you guys remember when I was playing games on Twitch because I did for a little while and I enjoyed it, but then I stopped enjoying games. Something happened. They announced uh, Owlcat Games, which did uh, Pathfinder Kingmaker. They announced a game that was right up my butthole. And it was called uh, Rogue Trader. It's a Warhammer 40k RPG in the same style that they did Pathfinder Kingmaker. I bought the super fucking collector's edition box for it. This is like two years ago or oh, something. Fantastic. And I thought maybe I like somehow screwed it up because it never, ever came out. <laughs> like I never got it. And I just got it like right before uh, all this legal shit hit. So um, I have thought about firing up. And I think you could have been able to play this game on Steam or like early access for everybody. Never did. We kind of lost interest in playing video games and uh, lost time on it. But, <laughs> Thank you. Um, maybe. 
maybe I can get back into some gaming streams at some point uh, for that. The movie streams on Twitch don't work anymore. They're gone. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're done. Robot uh, streamer. Twitch actually shut down the watch party feature. Now you can still do Go a to robot watch streamer, party Nick. if you just like say, Hey, I'm watching this movie. We're starting it now at this point. And then you go, but you can't stream it through a streaming service without running huge copyright risks. Robot. So, um, I don't know. I've got to figure that out. Uh, I don't want, like, I don't want to promise people that we can do, that we'll do watch party things. It may be very clunky. I just wish yeah, Amazon would have implemented server. a plan where I could pay, I don't know, a hundred, two hundred dollars or whatever, and do a screening of any movie in the Amazon library, whether people had prime or not similar to like how a movie theater would do it. Cause I think that'd be a way better feature. I think, mean, you know, people could come into the stream. You know, I, I pay like upfront cost on licensing the movie for a, li a one-time limited showing. And then everybody who watches my stream can watch the movie and they can choose to donate to me to like, I can recoup the cost or whatever. To me, that would be awesome. But, um, Stacy says back to trial streams. Yes. One of the big changes I'm looking at making is tooling the show much more towards a daytime schedule. I've been talking about this for a while and suddenly I've got an opportunity to do just that. I actually wanted to get into the Karen Reed case and, and get into it this week. And then the state kept telling me places I needed to be and things I needed to do, uh, you know, right in the middle of the fucking day. Every day this week. So that hasn't happened yet. But I'm working on that. And that shit really should tame down at some point. But, uh, you know, there's when there's hoops, you jump through them. Are you planning on doing any Hunter Biden coverage? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Um, one of the interesting things is I have a parallel. I have a parallel. <laughs> like Glenn Gary says, go back to your roots. Man. Trial streams aren't my roots. I don't know where people got the idea that they're like, oh, trial streams are his roots and trial streams are where he grew so much. And like, I did grow quite a bit during trial streams, but um, the, the major growth portions on my channel were not always trial stream related. And, and some of the biggest like uh, growth based on percentages was not done during trial streams at all. Like I, I they hadn't been invented yet uh, by me by accident. Like that hadn't happened. Um, like the Vic Mignogna case was huge uh, in bringing people and in, in eyes to the channel. Well, the Dick Masterson case as well. In yeah, some ways, the Google off. case, uh, yeah. Poppy. Like these, there were like moments where growth happened. A big boost was the fucking political coverage in the 2020 election. Like there's all sorts of ways. Going back to my roots goes well before Rittenhouse and well before trial streams. I like trial streams. I want to get back to doing them. Um, what I don't want to do is start the a trial stream at eight too, yeah. in the morning and then at nine 45 have to go and come back at like noon uh, and be in the middle of the fucking stream and then have to go somewhere else at two or whatever. Can I confirm that I am in possession of knowledge that could lead to the arrest of Hillary Clinton? No, I cannot confirm that because I'm still alive. So that's not there. But, uh, but yeah, the, um, this whole like, uh, I know people mean well with it, and I, I like trial streams. From a content perspective, they're really easy to do. You don't need to do a shitload of research. You actually don't need to do right. much at all. Go. You're going to turn on a thing and watch it yeah. and comment along like with existing opinions and knowledge. And sure, you can start to sprinkle in knowledge uh, about a particular fact set around the case or whatever. You can start adding things in as a content creator, I guess. But the, the secret that the law, the law uh, tube or whatever community doesn't want to say out loud is like, trial streams are fucking easy, except for the amount of like time that they take. But yeah, man, you just sit there and like make fun of stuff. That's great. Um, but I, they're also really good content. Don't get me wrong. And I like doing them. Uh, been looking for an opportunity to get back to them. But for many reasons that predate my recent legal issues, it, uh, 
you know, it's taken a bit. Hey, AJ, I near it. You can say that. You could just, like, if you just say it, like, slightly less so it isn't so spammy, you can say it all you want. Like, I'm not going to stop you. But if you keep, like, taking up the whole fucking chat window with the spam, like, I'll, I'll just throw you out. Because fuck you. <laughs> Go take your free speech onto that cock you want to put in your mouth. <laughs> but anyway, with uh, how's the book coming along? Well, let's hit a roadblock. <laughs> yeah, I could see. But, um, yeah. Look, uh, all of this has uh, been very, very tumultuous. It's not fun. It's uh, I gave Maddox a win. Look, I am a giver. I am a giver. It's, uh, it's tumultuous. It's not fun. Um, people say the worst shit about you. It's not true, and you can't really do anything to do otherwise. I will say this. We'll say it. Um, I'm going to be a little harsh in this statement. The amount of bootlicking faggots out there who are like, the government, the government said. All right. And by the way, bootlicking faggots includes a bunch of lawyers who at every other time will tell you, oh, oh, you can't trust the government. You can't trust the narrative. And now they're like, oh, man, look what they said. Look what the government said here. And they're like, just so happy about it. You can always find someone's true colors when, uh, when they have the opportunity to stand by what they say. And they don't. Hmm. But I digress. <laughs> Uh, tell you what, guys, there has been a request. That request is for a puppy. I am a giver. I'll go grab the puppy, bring her on camera for a little bit, put her away. Uh, the stream, I was planning on streaming for about an hour tonight. I am looking to return to Rumble and YouTube very soon. Maybe tomorrow, if my studio's ready, I have a bunch of great topics to discuss. Um... It may not be till Saturday. You know, it, it really Saturday depends. Trip. I'm trying to find the right time. Give people enough of a heads up. I have a feeling the comeback stream, come back. It's not the comeback stream, please. Like, oh, fuck, don't call it a comeback. It's literally not intended to be that. I'm going to be streaming kind of as per normal, especially on Rumble and YouTube for... Uh, some time we're going to get into more of a normal show rhythm i'm not going to sit here and run a ricada drama tour i think it's been done by a lot of people and they I've they can that do that done, no one's yeah. no one's ever tried to stop anyone that's another fun one when you keep finding out that you were trying to stop people from doing stuff and you're like holy f i don't even know who that retard is like um if there's anybody out there who says uh, oh yeah, Nick tried to stop me from doing this or Nick, Nick said this or Nick asked me to do this or delete that or remove that. That has never been true except for one time when I politely asked someone to take one thing down and I said, I'm not going to be a dick about it. I'm not going to DMCA it or anything like that. But if you just please take this one thing down, I'd appreciate it. Uh, a couple other times I asked on behalf of other people like, Hey, uh, that's a thing that might cause someone some hurt that wasn't intended. Uh, I would appreciate it if you like, if you could consider taking it down. I, I never threatened anybody or told anybody that they had to take something down or, or been a bitch about it. And if people left it up, like that's up to them. I, I, I don't like, uh, there's no like, you are, you are my mouth. anybody who says any of that shit. Okay. Okay. I guess. Um, are cats better than dogs? Yes. Yes, they are. Why did I have a black eye? I fell. <laughs> uh, I fell. No, I legit fell. Um, 
It was the night of that really bad stream, and I wish I could have blamed it on the liquor, but I actually slipped on a dog toy. <laughs> Fucking hit my eye on the... Uh, it hit right here across the um, countertop in my bathroom. But, like, I was torched. If I did not slip on a dog toy, I probably would have otherwise fallen because of drinking. Now, okay, like some people might no not believe this. That. It was just that fucking stupid. This, again, this is the thing where drunk. it's like the circumstances uh, <laughs> play out. He was pretty. If toasty, I fell from so. the liquor, I just tell you because I had oh, ingested more than enough liquor to fall and hit my face. Yeah, I was about to say, like yeah. that. That was true. That's happening. I did yeah. that on stream. Holy shit, guys! I didn't even remember most of that damn stream as it happened. Uh, I was way too out, like way too intoxicated. So much liquor, like, and you can watch me just pounding it back, right? It'll like you can you see out, it. Yeah. it was so far. Um, or you could see it, or whatever. Uh, no bones about that. I wish it would have been I drunkenly stumbled and hit my fucking face on the the counter, but it turned out I slipped on a dog toy. It's even gayer. But yeah, so that was my black eye. I looked super cool. Um, I know a bunch of people uh, like want funnier stories with all this stuff. And it's like nah. Not really. Like, I wish they were funnier stories. At least then it'd be funnier. But now it's pretty boring. Let me go. Um, when your nose hit first, it did. It just hit up here. It hit way up here on the bridge of my nose, and it hit right here. And there was actually a little spot here. I think my head must have rolled like that way as I hit. But uh, yeah, the 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 wound went this way, and my eye fucking uh, went purple. It was cool. But um, I'll be right back with the dog. See you in just a second. Now, see, he doesn't have to show the dog. I don't know if I would do that or not. But, you know, they tried to make up lies about my cat being dead like a month ago. I did post a picture of her because they just made that shit up. Like, they do a lot of shit about me and him, to be honest, too. But um, so I can't really call it out because I did it, too. But they're just trying to troll him and show him his dog, basically. The dumb faggots at the kosher casino. But whatever. If the, I mean, the dog's fine. Yeah, go ahead and show it. That's what I do with my cat, too. It's like, whatever. So I understand both ways. I understand both sides of that. It was Aaron? No, the casino was definitely talking about it last night, too. Because I saw Okay, 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 okay. Here we go. Here's Sonny. I've never seen this. You stupid little retard. <laughs> <laughs> His dog's pretty cute. There we go. <laughs> so, this is, you know, uh, pugs are what we call like God's mistake. But, because uh, look at it. What are you doing? What are you even sniffing? Yeah, Ear Juice knows what I'm talking about. Certain rotten but, yeah. tooth guy made up so, a lie about my cat. That being said, I almost didn't show it because it's like, <laughs> why even acknowledge it? But also, she was fine. Yeah. So it's kind of like him with his dogs. Like, well, she's fine. Guys, just show dogs it. are so fucking annoying. <sighs> and this one, oh, God, being around it while it eats, it's like listening to Jabba the Hutt have sex with himself. So fucking. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ew, it's gross. Uh, all right. I'm going to go put this thing away. Yeah, I know. God. I... Look at it. It's stupid. It like... Gross. <laughs> Just snort at people. <laughs> Have you guys ever had like a, have you ever been in a room with like a really obese uh, person? I had a writer's workshop with this big yes. fat guy. Like not all fat people are like this, but all of them are. This guy was just like a big guy. He just, everything was a noise. Like when he moved, it made sounds like jello being like sloshed <laughs> through a fucking that slip and like slide. BDB. Or whatever, and his breathing was just like <sighs> sweat's always pouring down his face. Oh my god, that's what this dog is like. That's what having a pug is like. They're just you go. 
It's like an asthmatic, but it has four legs, so it won't die. God. God made you to not survive. Why did you live? Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to go take this thing back. I'll be right back, and we'll finish up the show. Ow! Damn it, I just kicked a fucking rocking chair. The pug appearance is pretty good, though. Pugs used to look different before breeders 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 messed them up. I didn't know that actually. I never heard that. Chain reactionary says they are a mockery of nature to appease cruel and fickle. <laughs> I'm not gonna read all that. Not a fan of pugs. Man, I've been streaming forever. This is almost ten hours. Hit like, follow the channel if you don't already. I'm planning to be live again tomorrow at 2. Jesus. I did not plan to be streaming this late, though, but. Hey. Hi. Hashoot says your jokes are shit. Well, good. There you go. <laughs> it's, uh. Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know, Shamu. Like. When the worst shit in the world gets said about you, you realize like how fucking already doing this um this sort of gig where oh people are wondering what this is by the way it's just a monster power chat uh, live slash the raw kill stream tip dollar sign uh, doing the social media thing Rumble you already rest. have to get used to people saying shit about you yeah um, yeah uh, when when like real shit gets said about you. That is really untrue and really fucking horrid. Like you stop giving a shit when someone's like, your jokes are bad. It's like, okay, cool. Yeah, it gets a little, you get a little more jaded, I guess. True. It says rehab on the can. It does. It does. Refresh, recover, rehab with Monster. Brought to you by Nick Ricada. <laughs> Wasn't Ralph tweeting? He was supposed to have you on a, on a guest on your first stream back. No. Uh, Ralph was tweeting that, and this is true, that I will be doing my first solo interview with Ralph on the kill stream. That is true. Um, and uh, I, he asked me to lock down a date for that. I haven't been able to yet. I didn't. Sorry. I haven't been sure when I could even do this stream, much we'll less it. any other streams. We'll get it. But I will be doing my first solo interview back will be on the kill stream. That's not the first stream I no, do. No, no, no. I knew that. Or anything like that. But uh King Regina, yeah, that will be that message. will be happening at some point. So honored it's, to um, do that, by the way. People can say whatever they want about him. That's that's fine. Uh I, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. There's some uh there's some personal poeticness to all of it <laughs> that uh that helped me make that decision. It's good. <laughs> Yeah, a little bit. Amelia Locke says, why? It, it, it doesn't matter to anybody else in the world than me. Good Logic is, what, 1,700 people away from 100K? Get that, man. How does he not have 100K yet? Stay mad, A-Logs. How does he not have 100K yet? You read tips yet, Gaywad? No, I have not. I might need to pull up my phone to do it. So give me a second. I'm not worried about that. Oh, I was out cleaning my hot tub chat. today. Yeah. Which is cool. I'm not worried about that. Uh, I'll probably bring back some hot tub streaming at some point here. Um, but it had to get, it had to get its uh, spring slash summer some cleaning in, uh, just which is the full one. You got to replace all the water and everything. Cause it starts to get just a little bit fuzzy. I don't know if you've ever had like a hot tub or a pool or whatever. Cause I saw like you can, purify the water over and over and over, but eventually it just starts to feel chemically. He's like, oh, no matter how much chlorine I put in here, it doesn't get out all the semen. And so you have to just like, that's a joke. That's true. It definitely gets it all out. But um, <laughs> you have to just replace the water from time to time because it starts to get awkward. It just doesn't feel like good water. Chichunia says, ew, all the sex in there grows. Guys, I don't have sex in a hot tub. I have a heat allergy. Do you understand what that would do? 
to yeah, me. Yeah, they thought I made up. That I can barely be of, in a hot tub, especially in the summertime. I can barely be in a hot tub there. more than about twenty minutes. Now we don't have the date. But I'm not fucking anything in a fucking hot tub. I will <laughs> die. It will be the worst. Oh my god! First of all, sex in water sucks. Sex in a hot tub, particularly for me, no thanks. Yuck. Not in the actual. Uh, all right, tub, let me uh, yeah, let me pull up this. Let me pull up my own stream. And um, that ain't gonna work. Here we go. Oh, I'm being stream sniped. That's cute. No. Did he end it or did he? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure. F. Yeah, it definitely did go F. I can't play it. So I don't know what happened. Let me see here. Okay, North sent something in. Now, wait a minute. North 4343 sent $8 on Rumble. Fuck Nick. I don't care about that. All right, let's see if we come back. We're back? Are we back? Cool. Okay. Uh... I won't be doing the tips uh, on there. I just have to load them up on here and I'll have to bend over a couple times. Uh, sorry about that. I, I opened the stream on my phone, which confused it. On my side, it looked the same. Do you have three computers? No, it's just window. It's like a gazebo window behind me. It's just reflecting my TV that I'm looking at so I can read the chat while having a camera instead of sitting in front of like a, a laptop. What did... Yeah, I, I can't even keep up. Okay, what I won't be able to do for a little bit, though, guys, is see the chat. I won't see the chat at all, so I'm sure you can do whatever and say a bunch of shit. I'm going to yeah. go back, and I'm going to try and get all of the tips in order. This isn't the best system for it. Okay, uh, is that it? Yeah, Ryan PD911 says Earl Grey is Rackets Only Hope. Uh, maybe. Airhead151 says, I hope you and your family are doing as good as they can. You look 100 times better than the last stream. I'm drinking about 100 shots less. Uh, much love. Hope for the best outcome for all of you and your family. Thank you very much, Airhead. Uh, AJ Merritt says, Russell Greer is doing better in life than you are right now. Go, Russ. I'm proud of him. AJ Meard says, Russell Greer is doing better in life than you are right now. They, they had to do the caps, I guess. Uh, I was going to get to it, man. Uh, ben SC says, I love you, man. Still thinking about streaming your trial. <laughs> Look, man, if I go to trial and people aren't streaming it, I'd be shocked. Tweb15 says, Barnes has your back going nuclear on LawTube. I wonder if I can... I'll say this about LawTube. I've said this a bunch of times. This isn't new. Any sort of like tube community comics gate went through this fucking ibs uh internet blood sports community went through this all these communities go through this when you just associate everybody's law tube like you don't get to filter out who's retarded or who sucks or who's a piece of shit they just they just are there so it's like oh there's a lawyer who's streaming that must be Law tube or whatever. There's no way to like keep them out. You, no, you can't join the club. Who fucking cares? That's why I always said I don't want to be in law tube. I don't. People asked me legitimately. This is a long time ago, like after Rittenhouse, to create the law tube entity, whatever that would be. I don't like, even know get how people the, I was uh, together to as a, a business tip, venture actually, with like stream splitting and and revenue sharing and all this stuff. And I was like. That I'll sounds thing after. like killing yourself slowly. And I don't want to do that. If I'm going to do it, it should be quick. 
not that. I kn- can you imagine trying to run the accounting on like all these ladies? Well, I streamed thirteen point two hours that day. It's like, oh my god, they be doing it in tents and billing you. Ugh. no, 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 thank you. Super nerd says, hey Nick, hope you and Lady Raggets are doing better. Thank you very much. Uh, Tweb, I read your one about Barnes saying the search warrant's a total crock. I can't talk about it. Um, super nerd, yeah. Uh, Trump's guilty verdict and the prison time. I didn't answer that one. I still don't even... Prison time for Trump is problematic. There's a federal statute that says so long as a president uh, or his family under the meaning of the definition in the statute, um, so long as he is president and receiving the protections of the Secret Service, either as current president or former president, he cannot be put into a situation, or it is unlawful for a government agent to put him into a situation that hampers or impairs Secret Service's ability to protect him. This is why impeachment is critical in another way, like because when you're when you impeach a president, you remove that Secret Service protection. I believe we don't believe it remains after impeachment, and so um, when you impeach someone, you can then prosecute them, and if they go to prison, it's not awesome. messing with their ability to be incarcerated. But right now, if you want to incarcerate President Trump. You have to do it at a facility where the Secret Service would be overseeing him. So it's much more likely to get sort of a house arrest situation or something like that because you'd want, they'd have to comply with the statute. If a judge orders Trump into a prison and that interferes with the Secret Service's ability to protect him, the Trump may, or that judge may be violating federal statutes specifically targeting government agents so he wouldn't have like some sort of immunity on it. It'd be a big fucking mess too. It'd go straight to the Supreme Court like, no, you can't can't put me in prison. Look, prisons are nice. Mar-a-Lago, a little bit nicer. Better taco salads, maybe. You'd have this huge fucking fight over it. It'd be way easier to just order him to house arrest like uh, like they did with, uh, what's his face? Pablo Escobar. Uh, Felon Unsecured says, so I assume live shots are not a thing. How much for you to do a rail on camera? Uh, none of that's okay. Tweb15 says, do you have a memorial okay. service for your front door? Uh, did we? Uh, that, that was good. Man, I gosh, there's I have so many stories. I still from that don't even day. know if the shit went through. Oh wait, I do know. I think. Crass Cat says, "Are you and Lady Rackets together still?" I think so. I haven't checked in the past couple minutes. Yes, of course. Um. There was a weird thing where everybody thought that I posted Bond for unconditional release, but Lady Rackets didn't, or that I didn't post it for her. We posted Bond the exact same time. Um, I think now you can see the receipt, but for whatever reason, the county just didn't file it that day, and it went into the weekend. So everybody was speculating, like there was some uh, rift between us or separation. And at first, I was like laughing. I'm like, that's funny. And then all of a sudden, I realized, no, the county actually didn't file her unconditional release. And we had to get that taken care of uh, because the county was crazy, incompetent like- in filing that. Um, but no, we posted Bond literally at the exact same time, have the two receipts for it. And I just had to go down to the courthouse and be like, hey, uh, wave the receipt. And the lady's like, it's already taken care of. And I was like, because it wasn't like you guys didn't do it on Thursday or on Friday or whatever, whatever day it was that we posted. I can't even remember. You didn't do it last week, so it's done now. I'm just like, yeah, it's done now. I'm like, are you sure? Can I check? And she's like, yeah. So I checked, and it's done. But um, yeah, people like made, and this is the fun of the internet, I'm right? Starving. Like that story I'm became fucking snack. Uh, Lady Raggett threw me out of the house, or I threw her out of the house, or day. setting her up to fail or something. And I'm like, the fuck are these people talking about? Holy shit! That was just a county fucking up. Um, hope Lady Raggett is doing better. Me too. Uh, Super Nerd says, look, Nick, even though you're gay, don't drop the soap. Man, it's fucking cold. What's the equivalent of I am the one who knocks for the guy, like, not dropping the soap, but the other one? I am the one who mounts. <laughs> uh, Billy the Kid Law says, I'm sure Greg Doucette, Mars Girl, Jamie Markey, Shane Holmberg, uh, etc. reached out in support, right? Yes. They all said they send their deepest sympathies. Robin Sage says, I hope you and the lady are doing okay. That's what we really care about. We're, I mean, look, we're in a shit situation, obviously. 
Um, and all of that will be what it is over time. And right now, a little bug, uh, right now, um, in light of all that and in consideration of that, uh, we are doing relatively okay. I mean, it's not fun, but we're alive. And, uh, you know, that's happening. Yeah. I don't know what else to say. It's like, it's not the best circumstance, but all things considered, we're okay. Uh, Davis Mark says, having dealt with a criminal case before, I know these things take time. It's often in a defendant's best interest to delay things as much as possible. So I get it. Take care of yourself, Nick. And that is, uh, you know, what I'm doing. DT Poch says, show us the medallion and red bars watching. What's up, red bar? Uh, I don't have the medallion up here. I'll bring it out sometime. I don't actually know where it is. It's somewhere in my office. Um, but I'll, like, I'll bring it out. I don't care. It's just not up here. And I don't know where it is. Probably put in a box of miscellaneous shit for now. Uh, Indiana the dog says, Miranda does not fuck. Don't wave her, right? <laughs> uh, I guess. Chichunius is unbreaded. Not tonight, but that'll be part of the show still. Like, I'm not getting rid of the unbreaded segment. Phoebe Gigantor says, but have you seen Ratatatata by Electric Cowboy and Baby Metal? Nope. Nick Naylor says, what was your reaction to the trolls in the Zoom hearing? You can see my reaction. Uh, there was someone who told me to kill myself, and I kind of just went, <laughs> what do you do? I was mostly laughing because, so I was the first hearing at the arraignment, I believe. And they're like, okay, we're going to clear all the rooms and bring them in. And I started seeing a bunch of fat, ugly people like with their cameras on, like way, like panned into the, like, uh, like this number. Like I saw a bunch of those like weirdos. Believe me, if you've been to, <laughs> there are places you can go to see these people, but they, you start seeing a bunch of them and you go, Oh no. The court has no idea. The jail has no idea. Yeah. Like, they don't know what's about to happen. And I had no idea, like, right? Yeah. I don't have access to the internet. Like, uh, this old school, whatever. So I have no idea, like, who knows anything. But once I start seeing those weirdos fucking pop up, bloop, 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 yeah. and the judge is like, why are these chimes going all the time? And I'm like, oh, sir, those chimes are going to go for a while. Yeah. Maybe the court admin could, like, turn off the notification sound or something, but now nah, let's just let it go. And I start seeing a fucking billion people <laughs> popping in. I was like, okay. And then when someone came on, they like had a giant, like they had a dildo on the screen, just like, I was like, that was kind of funny. And then someone comes on and drops the N word uh, a couple of times. That and that's happen. when it was that one, the Nick Ricada kill yourself. That didn't stop anybody. But the course, like someone's like, N word, N word, N word. And I was, the court's like, well, we got to stop this. And I was like, wait a minute. Like, why, why do they get special treatment? They're not even here. <laughs> That's rude. But uh, I mean, once I realized that the news is out there, people have found out about it and they're in the arraignment hearing. It's like, what do you do? You just sit here and laugh because the court has no idea what they're in for. Um, the jail staff also like, retweet this. We, Medicare's we usually see a decent amount of people in these things. I'm like, oh, you usually do. It's like nine pages of extra names on Zoom. You have no fucking idea what's going on. That's cool. Uh, next, Indiana the dog says, "Can you do the other half of the Scotus oral argument Trump immunity case as a comeback stream so we'll get mad views and no ruling yet and showcase your mad skills? Maybe." There's been a bunch of really good uh, Supreme Court shit going on. The NRA did something useful. That was cool. Good job. And B says, can the cat picture stay? I'm actually hoping that uh, the background, as I, again, I have to frame out the, the shot on the camera and stuff like that. So I'm not exactly sure how everything's going to look yet and what pictures will be in there. The Joker painting will be uh, in there very prominently. Depending on how the shot is framed, the Johnny Depp Info and the cat War's painting done. may make uh, Alex Jones quite agrees a big to appearance. I have to kind of put shit on the wall and then frame the shot in the camera before I can say what will be where.
It's on CNN. Challenges ownership and free speech system is going. Sorry, to I had to get solved. the uh, rest of them to load up. Lord Boffin says, "Ricardo Law tip just say fuck legal mindset." All the best to you, Nick. Hey, thanks, brother. Chichunia says, "Love you, Nick. Happy you're back. We missed you. Seriously, hope you're doing well. Thank you." Koof says, "Thank you for not killing yourself every time. Every time, you're welcome." Casey1216 says, looking better. Keep being better, please. Okay. Candace Marie says, Nick, habits can be changed and corrected. Feeble mindset's eye, though. That is stuck in its way. Feeble mindset. So God damn. Juggalo Debo says, still got your back from the day you started locals and will until you stop or I die. And how things are uh, and how things are going. Fuck, where'd that no, go? Are you still here? I'll still play that. I just can't play right this second. Also, I see other people sniping too, so that makes me not feel as bad. Uh, and how things are going, I bet the latter is more likely. Cool. The Ralph Retort says, thanks for confirming the interview. Looking forward to it. Hey, what's up, Ralph? Yeah, we'll be talking pretty soon, man. Um, I'll try and get back to you and start working on a date so we can announce it ahead of time and all that shit. Poet says, great to see you, Nick. Hey, great to see you, the poet. Cassie Mayron says, great mugshot, locals gift. Yes, the local the gift was, was my sick. mug shot. You're welcome. Say. I've been planning it for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> no, the local gift is still coming. I've actually, again, resumed talks with a new uh, with a new source for getting that done. It's no one needs to believe me. I say, don't believe me on things I say. Just when I do them, you'll know. Uh, <laughs> I am working on it. CBC Drinker zero zero one says, "Good to see you again. Hope well, all is going well." I want to send him well. a super chat since yeah, I terrific. felt bad about sniping it anyway, but now I see it other is what it is, sniping man. it. Kim's like, says, "Hi, Andrew. I know you can't take your eye off me, no matter how many cartoon tits are in front of you." Shit. Cedar Rose says, "I'm on board for Sober Rackets trial streams. Hopefully, they're good." Candace Marie says, "Nick, just because you were standing doesn't make it stand up comedy. Sober stand up streams have a nice ring to them, though." Again, the the standing for a stream, I I ordered a standing stand up sit down desk a while ago on Kickstarter, and everything got fucked. I should never order from Hungarians, or whatever. I'm just kidding, just that company. But um, that thing has never been delivered. I don't know if it ever will. But it was cool. It's fucking awesome, and I really want it. But the idea was that I could transition between standing up and sitting down yeah. a lot. Um, but that hasn't happened. So. Uh, but standing up has always been fun for a lot of different types of streams. But it really does keep the show time down because you don't want to fucking stand up for yeah, You can't like stand 10 up hours. for I mean, you can, but like. Sausage Finger says, Hey, man, I've had a shitty day and you made me laugh more in 20 minutes than I have all week. Thanks, Raggets. Hey, you're welcome. Glad. Candace Marie says, Here's some well intentioned advice that you have seen and heard over 9,000 times. Candace Marie says, Are You talking to cops was beta. But throwing the warrant down saying it doesn't mean shit was top tier response, I hope for. Again, um, at some point, maybe all of this can be talked about. Right now, uh, you know, I I did what I did and I have and had my reasons. And uh, as far as hold your tits, uh, county attorney, what I'm talking about is uh, I did what I did in regards to the warrant and all that stuff. And all of that, like... Obviously, you do what you do in the situation that you're in. I'm specifically talking about the day of the execution of the search warrant. Um, and uh, yeah, like people will criticize it or people will agree with it. It is what it is. And um, we'll see. We'll see how everything pans out, I suppose. I don't think he's going to jail. You know? Chili Cheese Jay says, good to see you back and looking healthy. Thank you. I've missed your old streams pre Keffel's craziness. Let the retards be retarded and do your shit rackets. Much love. Hey, cheers. Mary is me 247 says, what about the cat picture? Will it still be on display in your office? Love you, man. It'll be, uh, it will be on display in my office, hopefully more prominently. But again, I got to frame the shot. So I don't know. Uh, Nyrenal, New York renal MD says, praying for you. If you need medical help, DM on Twitter. Renal medic, that's kidneys, right? Like, mine's good for now. I'm sure I'll fuck it up eventually. But thanks, man. Candace Marie says, Dick has been begging for the sonnet shoe. Are you planning to send him? <sighs> he hasn't sent me a message asking. Dick just asked. Maybe I'll bring it to him in person. Well, the, uh, well, it depends on what the plea, again, we don't know, but it depends on what they offer him. I mean, 
Um, who knows, really? It depends on how determined they are to fuck them. Um, a lot of different factors. Doc F1 says, fuck you. How are the kids you've devastated? I'm not aware of any kids I've devastated, but I, I hope they're okay. SEO Vibe says, everyone here at SEO Vibe and uh, Palmyra Productions, nothing but the best for you and Lady Rackets and kiddos. Three members on our team actually know you personally, and I'm sure they'll be in touch and do uh, in due time to wish you the best. It says, and due time, which in the context, I don't think you want to say in due time to wish you the best. <laughs> I won't mention names here. TC. Hey, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Billy so, the Kid Law. I don't know, man. It's like he's a lawyer. No uh, record. Says, I don't know if you recognize my name when it I chat sometimes, but you got me through some dark shit are, when my like, mom died know. in 2019. You always have my support, brother. Hey, uh, happy to be able to offer just a little bit of light in the, you know, in that tunnel. Depends. And uh, uh, I appreciate it very much. Doc, if one says, does Aaron still have visitation with Kayla? I, I don't know. I, I haven't checked with the county. Doc, if one says, plug youtube.com forward slash contra indian 92 cut band get better and take care of your kids okay god aloha from kansas says nick i believe in you can't wait to have trial streams back me too and then uh we've got two more and then we're gonna wrap up so uh it, way logos works it gets kind of hard to keep track of these um, so don't send any more in. I appreciate them. But for now, just, just don't. Well, there's three more now. Lazy Bastard says, at least you weren't accused of trying to smoke Parmesan cheese you found on the carpet. Four more, five, God damn it. I said, stop. Stop sending me more. Uh, yeah, no, that would be weird. Nick Naylor. Nick Naylor says, you might've already answered this or refused to, but any comment on what Aaron said, not the legal parts. Uh, like I said, all, all of this stuff will probably be addressed in time, but the best I can say and the simplest I can say is that um, the true story lies somewhere divergent from pretty much any orated story. Um, as for Aaron, he'll say what he says. People can assess him for who he is without my input. <laughs> I hope he makes a million dollars. <laughs> uh, Tiffinal said, I bought a super awesome standing sitting desk. Cool. Uh, Dusklight says, will you go back on the road circuit when you can? I would love to. Um, my whole, like, I wasn't lying when I said, like, my life got fucking condensed and crunched and the stress of life and my inability to even have fucking time to do the streaming schedule that I wanted was all real. Like, and that hasn't really changed. Um, it, it was supposed to lighten up as the school year wound down. Now I have currently uh, some new obligations to deal with, but uh, hopefully that'll loosen up a little bit and uh, timelines will become more predictable uh, because like I said, the show is going to, I'm not abandoning nighttime streams, by the way, um, but not all streams will be at night and uh, there's going to be a much bigger daytime presence and then hopefully more flexibility on trial streams and shit like that. But along with that, going back on the road circuit, right now I have more uh, pressing issues than, um, you know, going out to places. You already pissed people off when I would go out and like meet people in public, but uh, like the people who weren't there would get annoyed. Right now, that's kind of way on the back burner. But I love going out and meeting people. I love going and doing live shows and hanging out with uh, with friends on the internet as like, like Camelot and Dick and stuff like that. But I also love just like meeting you guys at stuff. And uh, I would love to do some meetups. We may be able to do some Minnesota ones here yeah, pretty soon. Or well, it, yeah. pretty soon, whenever that is. At some point, maybe I'll do Minnesota ones. But, um, you know, going further out uh, than that right now, I've just... I'm going to have to be around here a lot. I want to be very clear. Like uh, I'm not yeah, on restriction. Right. Got, I, say, I can technically leave the state. I yeah, just have okay. to make all court appearances. Yeah, okay. It's just, I, forgot I have that. shit that I have to do here as well yeah. uh, in relation to my case, as well as in relation to life. So um, we'll see. As soon as I can go and like be out and meet people and do events, I'm doing them. Absolutely. And there's some events this year that that may still happen with. It just all has to be, 
kind of woven around everything else. Candace Marie says, get a scale, do a weight challenge with Vito. You gain 10 pounds and he loses 10 pounds every week. Weigh yourself and take Vito's booty. No, I don't want to gain 10 pounds right now. If I just gain 10 pounds right now, it'd all be eating because I, I haven't had time to get into the swing of a gym membership. So until I'm actually, this is right where I want to be prior to building muscle and bulking. The thing with being over 40 that you learn is when you bulk as a man over 40, you bulk directly into your fucking gut, which is why so many guys out there are absolute embarrassing specimens. I'm not going to sit here and pound calories into my gut. If I'm going to gain weight, it's going to be done where I want to gain weight. That'll be through a specific workout regime. And then I'll be increasing calories to, you know, uh, supplement that. I'm not going to do it by just eating a shitload and gaining 10 pounds. I could do that right now and keep gaining the weight I've been gaining. But what I'll do is I'll end up just putting it right into my belly because men over 40 do that. Um, Avian three says tips and, uh, tips sent out of spite. Love you, bud. Get better. Thank you. Matt F79 says, I just wish the best for you and your family, Nick. You have a lot of support. Take advantage of it. Oh, believe me. I will. Creative lawyer. Welcome back. Best in your absence. We had a fun to hire Bruce Rivers for you. <laughs> um, Bruce Rivers is probably a great attorney. I don't know if he's the right attorney for me or not. I have never spoken to the man, but uh, he seems really cool. A lot of people like him. Talking trash and true says, don't send anymore. Don't tell me what to do. Xander's Rand says, how is Jim doing? Like, what do you mean? <laughs> the Jim that I blamed, that was my favorite headline, I have to say, <laughs> is like uh, about that stream is like mysterious, blames unidentified man named Jim, the Fox, the Fox nine fucking article that said, I blamed an unidentified man named Jim. Did I was like, really? oh, that's so fucking funny. God, I wish this was happening to someone else just so I could make fun of that. God, that's great. Faust IXV says, why would you let another man come in your wife? Why would you let another man come in your wife? That's a philosophical question. Who else is sniping? There's some A-logs out there sniping as well. I even sent him a message. Now, of course, he might not be able to see it. Uh, Avian3 says, what's it like stream, being a black man? Like, it's great. Know. When he cut the stream, See I sent him a message like, Billy hey, the Kid Law says, when and if shit settles down you later, you should try getting an interview will, with Ronnie Radke falling in reverse. So be fun. In, so. High on my list of people I want to talk to um, and do an interview with. I want to talk to him about art and creation, of course, navigating the criminal uh, justice world in the context that he had it. A ghost of recon says, I'm still trying to figure out what in that warrant was actually probable cause. Again, I'm not going to talk about it online. If I make any comments about the warrant or the probable cause or anything like that, you'll see them filed in court uh, by my lawyer um, at the time that that happens, if it's going to happen. I can't talk legal strategy or anything like that. You guys hopefully can appreciate that by now. All right, guys, with that, uh, we're going to, we're going to say good night. Okay, good. Let's get the chat back up. I'm so tired. We're going to say goodnight. M.R. Publius has had a bomb-ass take on the warrant, in my opinion. Look, I have, I have a bunch of personal opinions about the warrant. I have a bunch of legal opinions about the warrant. I can't share them online. Uh, Ghost of Recon says, fair, take it easy. Team F Squid says, I wish you could laugh at all the glorious memes, you giant faggot. Hope all goes well. Know that I am laughing in here and down where my pee is stored in the balls. <laughs> and um, look, this is a marathon stream. Not for him, for me. <laughs> just because circumstances can take away the appearance of levity. No one has the right to take away your opinions. No one has the right to take away what you enjoy. No one has the right to take away your amusement. Always remember that. That's actually a tough one. Um, that was tough for me early on. Because you have to, you have to rein in what you say. You have to, you know, make sure, like, uh, when you get arrested, especially in a small town, and it's big news. Yeah. Every time you go out, you think people are watching you. You don't know who is or who isn't. Like, you might just be walking past someone. They're like, "Oh, look at that idiot. He's wearing a stupid shirt." Likely true in my case. But you also don't know if they're looking at you because they saw you in a newspaper. 
or something. And it's really like unsettling. But when you take just a second and you realize that no matter what the outward appearance is and how, what you have to do uh, for whatever, they don't get to actually take away your Most internal thoughts. They don't get to take away your enjoyment of things. For no one can do go. that but you. If you don't know Jesse Wells, so you find you happiness, enjoy your circumstances. And maybe, maybe you can't blast out. them online, but we never used to anyway. So enjoy things you enjoy. Um, find mirth where you can. This is just advice for whenever you're down. Like this isn't, this isn't like my situation. It's every situation. Um, take mirth where you true. can find joy where you can. Uh, and remember that the only person who can prevent you from having those internal reactions and opinions is you. That's it. State can't do it. Internet trolls can't do it. Uh, no one can. You have to choose to no longer find the good in life. So find it for your own fucking health, because if you don't, you're gonna, you'll die. There's no other way to say it. Crasscat says, why did you lie to us for so long after we defended you for over a year? I'm not particularly aware of lying to you, but um, I, I don't, I don't know what you're referring to. So sorry. I don't. I also never asked anybody to defend me ever. I actually usually would tell people not to. So, um, but yeah, please don't, please don't. One of my friends, uh, I'll share this last little thing. I'll share this last little thing. One of my friends, uh, said, Hey man, it's getting hard to defend you over the scuttle butt or something. And I was like, It cut. You know what? Sometimes on rum or on locals, it'll cut like a little bit early if you press the button. Or did he do that on purpose? That's pretty funny if he did. I don't know. I'm so tired at this point, though. I'm just like, I didn't give as much analysis as I normally would. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Lofer. Remember to like and subscribe.